So in this video, I'll be showing how to use cruise control. Now with cruise control, what it is virtually is you just send it out in a straight line. You can use the gimbal to go up and down. Now apparently you can do it as you're rising. I don't really see the point of that myself, but you can obviously in a straight line, especially if you put it into cin cinematic mode, you can bring the, uh, the gimbal down to capture something. So I'm just going to show you the setup of it. So what we need to do first, you don't have to get the drone up in the air yet, but what you will need to do, so what you've got to do first, top right hand corner, three dots, press on that. Got to fly now. Go into control. You scroll down till you get to button customization. So you press on that. Right, now I use my C1 button quite a lot. So I'm going to use the C2 button for the cruise control. You can see already I've got it set up for cruise control, but if you just tap on the arrow there, uh, you're going to probably find it's going to be on the other. So you've got to go over to control. You see cruise control at the bottom there. You tap that. That's, that's, that's it. You set up. So your C2 button is set up for cruise control. So next thing we've got to do is get the drone up in the air. So, auto take off. Take off. So we just send the drone up. Home point updated. Okay. And um, we just have a look. Um, okay, that's a nice direction there. So what you got to do, you got to push your stick forward. And as you push the stick forward, you press the C2 button. Right, and that's it, simple as that. So I'll just come out of it. And come out of it, you just press it again. Push control. Right, so we just drone forward. Right, cruise control enabled. So the drone's off. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't even got to worry about that now. What I can do, I can just drop that gimbal down. Um, and you can tell how fast it's going. We got a, I can hear something. Okay, I want to stop that now. So we can just press that. All right, we're just gonna do it again. So, simple procedure, you push your stick forward. And as you're pushing it forward, you press the C2 button that you set up. It's come up already. I've got it going at 25 miles per hour. I'm just going to drop the gimbal down now. Now, if you want to stop it at any time, obviously you can press the red square, the, the cross, which is on the left. Um, or you just press the C2 button, which I'm just about to do now. Or you can even press the pause button if you want. So I'm just going to stop it now. So as soon as you stop it, the drone will stop. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to send the drone back. I'm going to do it again, and this time I'm going to put the video on. <laughs> I didn't do it, did I? Okay. So, video is on now. So, push the stick forward. Press the C2 button. There you are, it's on. Simple as that, there's no problems with that. You can move the gimbal up and down. Um, I can just bring it up again. Now what we could do is I'm gonna put it in cinematic. I'm just gonna let it go along here a bit. I'm gonna press, this time I'm gonna press the pause button. So I just press the pause button. That's stopped. So it's been disabled, it says that already. I've got the video still on. I'm going to put it over to cruise control, um, put it over to cinematic or sin mode as they call it. I'm going to turn the drone around. So obviously it's going to go a lot slower now. Look at that blue, blue, blue water. Okay. 
So, stick forward. We're going to put on the cinema, on the cruise control. Um, I mean, what's good about this, obviously we're in sin mode because um, the drone's going a lot slower. You can see there, I can bring it down gradually. I've got suddenly beyond the bush over there. Um, and then I can bring it up again. And obviously it's traveling in a nice straight line as well. So, I'm going to do it in speed mode. So this time I'm going to press the C2 button. I'll just let it come out a little bit more. There's a guy out in the canoe there. Hello, the bells are ringing. <laughs> so I'm just going to stop it now. We've got two guys in the canoe. Okay, right. We're going to turn that around, turn the drone around. We're going to put it onto sports mode. Just bring it around now. Okay, flick it over to, because it's all been disabled. Okay, it's saying sports mode. So, have to be aware, when you put it in sports mode, guys, the avoidance is, is taken off. So, you've got to make sure there's no obstacles in the way. So, this time, we push the stick forward. We put on the cruise control. There it goes, 31, just touching, yeah, just 31, isn't it? And obviously I can bring up that gimbal a bit more. I can mess about with this, my C1 bottom button. <laughs> okay, so I can stop that. Okay, bring it around. I'm going to do return to home. Return to home. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a pretty simple mode. I mean, I suppose it's got its purpose. I, I don't tend to use any of these sort of modes, but I think when you, if you just bought the drone for the first time, you want to try out everything that's on this drone. This is another extra that you get on the full. But as always, guys, hope you enjoy these types of videos and uh, I'll catch you on another one. Adios.